what I hope what people are going to see in the coming weeks is some real transformation of their rail services. There are new trains arriving in virtually every part of the country over the course of 2019. Every single train in the north of England being uh, either replaced with a brand new train or a completely refurbished train. I've been on some of them on the Cumbrian Coast Line, on the Harrogate Line. Uh, new express trains arriving on the East Coast Main Line, new express trains arriving on the Trans-Pennine route. So we've got things happening right now to improve performance, like the engineer who works over Christmas, like the new trains. Uh, by this autumn, we will have an action plan for transformation of the rail industry as well. My view is that the rail industry today uh, is unable in its current structure to cope with the pressures on it. It's too fragmented. The system set up at the time of privatisation, the divisions between track and train, uh, the franchising system, served us well for a while, the number of passengers has doubled, the number of trains increased by more than 50%. It's no longer right for the pressures on the rail industry today. But the reality is the costs of the rail industry are rising. They're rising higher than I would want them to. Uh, all I hear from the unions is fares are going up too much, but we want really high pay rises. Those two simply don't add up.